In the last video I tried to explain how to get the new WebDAV feature working on Windows. In this video we will take a look on how to get WebDAV to life in Linux. This video will be applicable on most Linux versions. I use Ubuntu in this video, a Debian Linux. This means you can easily replicate this tutorial on other systems like the Raspberry Pi. I do every step in the terminal to make it more easy to replicate the steps on other systems. You will find the use terminal commands in the video description. The first thing to do is to install DaveFS2 with the apt-get command as shown in the video. The minus Y option avoids further questions. To be able to mount the WebDAV drive to your system a folder must exist. I create one in the mount folder and call it premiumize. In your user's home folder you should now find a folder called .davefs2. The secret file contains the credentials and the WebDAV path. If it does not exist, just create it. I already prepared the file. It starts with the WebDAV URL and continues with the premiumized customer ID and the password, separated by a blank. Save the file and make sure that it has the correct permissions, only the owner should be able to edit and view the file. To accomplish this execute, change mod 600 secrets. Now we have to edit the DaveFS2 config file. If it does not exist, just continue the video and skip this step. It will be created as soon as you execute the mount command. Just come back to this point and edit the file as shown now. I open the config file with a text editor and search for redirect. I uncomment follow redirect and set the value to 1 and save the file. Now we have to use the user mod command to add our user to the DaveFS2 group. Now we are ready to prepare the mount options. You can just adjust the string from the video description and add it to your FS tab as shown in the video. You can just execute the mount command to trigger the mount. If you encounter an error, restart your machine before the next try. The user and group options may only get activated after a reboot. If you couldn't find the config file before you can now jump back and edit the redirect options. I can now navigate into the mounted folder and access the files. A copy is possible but as of now you cannot delete the files via WebDAV in your cloud. I copy the Big Buck Bunny movie to make sure that everything works fine. If you get an error, Remount it and make sure that the redirect option is set correctly.